Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has shared a post on Twitter calling protesters on all sides to behave responsibly and refrain from violence. It's after tens of thousands of people took to the streets in anger on Sunday evening after Mr Netanyahu fired his defence minister. Yoav Gallant had called for a pause on changes being introduced to the country's judicial system. Protesters have taken to the streets on a scale never seen before, threatening to shut down the country if Mr Netanyahu doesn't back down. There were angry scenes in Parliament too. Here various opposition lawmakers banging on the table and yelling shame, while others were escorted out of the hall. The governor of Mississippi has warned that more severe weather could be on the way to the U.S. state following tornadoes which killed 26 people. Governor Tate Reeves said significant risks remained in parts of the state. Hundreds of people have been displaced in the wake of the tornadoes, which tore through Mississippi and Alabama on Friday night. The mayor of one of the worst affected towns said he had lost personal friends in the disaster. Friday's tornado was the deadliest in the state of Mississippi in more than a decade. At least 25 people have died in the state, with one person confirmed dead in neighboring Alabama. Uh, I want to personally thank uh, President Biden and his team for very quickly signing the emergency declaration that we sent up on yesterday. Uh, obviously, uh, the resources that the people here in Rolling Fork and throughout Mississippi need, uh, it, uh, the help is on the way. And I think that's critically important. Russian shelling in Slovyansk in the Donetsk region has killed two people and injured at least 25. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky posted a video on his social media said to show the aftermath of the attack, showing several burning cars and smoldering debris in what appeared to be a residential area. Mr. Zelensky wrote in the post accompanying the video that Ukraine will not forgive these deaths and accused Russia of terrorism. Germany's transport network is at a near standstill as the country experiences one of the largest strikes in decades. Staff at airports, ports, railways, buses and subways walked out shortly after midnight for a 24-hour stoppage. Two of Germany's largest unions are demanding higher wages to help their members cope with the rising cost of living. There have recently been smaller walkouts by other public servants. The so-called mega-strike, as it has been dubbed in local media, has affected commuter and regional trains operated by Deutsche Bahn, Germany's national rail operator. Kenya's riot police are on the streets of the capital Nairobi in a bid to prevent protests called by the opposition over the high cost of living and alleged election malpractices. <laughs> It's after the leader of Kenya's opposition was tear-gassed by police on Monday during a protest against President William Ruto and the high cost of living. Rayla Odinga's convoy was repeatedly sprayed with tear gas as he addressed supporters from the sunroof of his car. And the Pirates of the Caribbean star Orlando Bloom has visited a children's centre in Kiev. Hello. How are you? Are we making a candle? Oh, yeah. You just take one of these? It's so beautiful. You have two colours. He went with the charity UNICEF, which is offering support for displaced children and their families. According to Ukraine's prosecutor general's office, at least 465 children have been killed in the 13-month-long war. Wow. Sir, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. What an honor. What a real honor, sir. Nice to meet you. Really, such a honor. He also so met Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky so and told him to how inspired he'd been by the strength of the Ukrainian people. Ukraine. To see the children, to see yeah. in their eyes, yeah. um, uh, it's palpable, the uh, anxiety and yet the strength of the Ukrainian people is something that is uh, really awe-inspiring in truth. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.